Well, hello there, guys and girls. I hope you're all doing bloody well. My name's Mikey, and welcome along to another episode of Draw with Mikey, episode 89. Ah, oh, it's so good to get back into the swing of these things, guys. How are you doing? Um, for those of you not in the know, quick intro as ever. This is um, on the channel, the really casual midweek series, I guess, for um, I tend to upload. Basically, um, this is kind of a longer sit down session where I get to catch up with you guys as viewers, read through the comments section below. If you guys have got anything going on, we can kind of talk about it. It's my only real way to touch bases through the YouTube with you lot. And I just happen to kind of be doing whatever I've got in a sketchbook in the background or whatever I'm working on digitally. And maybe you guys just maybe are working on your own projects in the background as well, which would be great because I always love to hear about them. Um, so, yeah, spoiler alert, swear word alert, no editing alert, burp alert, <laughs> sipping tea alert, all of those great things. And um, when it comes to kind of working in a sketchbook, sometimes I might just happen to be doing something that looks good. Sometimes I might be really struggling with something or just fill the sketchbook page with a load of failed ugly art. Um, and I'm going to share all of that regardless in the DWMs, which is basically my way of saying sometimes you see some good stuff here and sometimes you do not. Um, but the whole point is just to have some visuals on for the catch up. So um, as you've probably noticed from the title, uh, what I've been doing recently is just thinking my way around Yoko Listener. Um, I might get into it into more detail later, but I don't want to ramble about something that isn't you and your comments. But basically, um, I'm trying to add a little bit of value at the rough draft stage before I do like some final lines, just to help me understand if I really want to commit to a drawing or if I want to sack it off. And um, I had a little bit of block with poses. So you're basically going to see me do loads and loads of different types of starts on the Yoko Listener. Take them so far, each one's a little bit different, and then probably just sack them off. I found something at the moment I'm quite liking, um, but again, that's not too important. I'll talk about that at another time. What the hell is going on with you guys? Oh, and by the way, a quick sidetrack. I do want to say uh, thank you so much, everybody, for kind of getting into last episode commenting, which I'm about to read through, uh, and just getting back on track with me, despite the hiatus times hiatus we had from uh, the penultimate episode to the one before. Have I said that right? I think I have. Um, so anyway, yeah, what is going on in the comments? God damn, says hashtag hardcore crew. How? Oh. <laughs> Straight away with the hardcore stuff, dudes, and other people as well. Oh, I'm so tired. Um, make sure you've got yourself some tea or coffee. You don't have to, but I do recommend it. Mm. Delicious. Hi, Mikey. Hello there, goddamn. Today I've been drawing for 61 days. I bought a figure drawing book, just started at the head drawing part, and together with the help of your tutorials, I've been improving so much. Not really doing anything this summer besides work and learning to draw. Also, I really enjoyed this stream definitely more than you did. <laughs> Keep up the good work, and I'm glad you're back. Goddamn. Thank you so much. I am. Um, I do try to fit these in uh, the recording part, this talky-talky, um, sometimes a little bit early in the morning, or if I've left it until Wednesday, it has to be the first thing I do when I wake up, um, which might be exactly what's happening right now. Um, so yeah, sometimes I like, I come to the microphone and I'm really tired or like, I haven't, you know when your voice just gets a bit husky in the morning and it clears after about 10, 15 minutes of talking? Sometimes I'm like that, so I start the episode and I'm just like, uh, hello guys, welcome. And then by the end of it, I'm just like, yeah, we've been talking about anime for an hour, blah, blah, blah. Um, so with that in mind, let me start with a question I've actually thought up beforehand. Guys, um, I would really like to hear from you. Uh, what are your favorite, favorite, Jesus, what are your favorite visual moments in anime? If you could give me just uh, one or two examples, I would just love to hear about it. Um, this is an idea I'm stealing from a streamer that I've been watching, where um, she was asking for great visual moments in cinema, like uh, the background, as an example, the background for my desktop at the moment is taken from Rogue One. Uh, whatever you think about that film, Visually, it's fucking incredible, and I've got like a bit of a scene where the Death Star just cracks the um, surface of that planet where uh, the um, ghost dog, where the samurai secret base was being held. Oh god, I've lost everybody's names. Anyway, the visuals were fucking incredible, like the Death Star eclipsing the moon and stuff. So what I was thinking is, um, I'd quite like to steal some of your suggestions, stealing as last week, stealing your suggestions for artists worked out so well, stealing your suggestions for those visual moments in anime, just a single shot, if you paused the anime, that just looks great. Um, so if you guys have got anything in mind, I'd sure love to know. I am appreciating that I'm kind of putting myself at risk of spoiler alerts. So if it's a kind of recent anime um, 
instead of saying it's that scene where the second main character definitely definitely dies because of that big twist in the film if you could just tell me it's like you know the death of this guy in that anime and i'll try not don't don't give me too much story around it basically uh, oh my god have i made this question really difficult and awkward for you i'm just trying to make you help me and i'm already getting in your way basically um so yeah so my example would be um say there's a number of scenes from the Evangelion uh, last standalone movie that they did, the OVAs, uh, which, are they still supposed to be making a fourth one? When the fuck's that coming out? Because I was I was really into that Evangelion years ago and I completely forgot about it. Anyway, um, the bit where um, Unit 01 kind of awakens and, like, it's right at the end and it, like, it goes on the offensive with its own AT field and it smashes the shit out of one of the angels and then it goes into angel mode and it's kind of floating around and just as it's floating around, spoiler alert, um, it gets the lance of longinus goes through it and the other guy comes down in unit five, I think, or four and like just the shot of it is colourful, incredible, it could go straight onto a poster. Anyway, I think I've just given you a really long example. That's my one. What's yours? Uh, and I will steal your answers, hopefully, in the next episode. Anyway, uh, god damn, let's get back to what you're saying. When you say the figure drawing book, uh, it sounds like you're talking about Michael Hampton's figure drawing design and invention. Great book. Uh, I'm still working my way through it. I'm still getting loads out of it. It's, in fact, I've... I've barely sort of gotten near like the first third of that book I'd say but it's it's full of great stuff very well recommended and I'm glad goddamn that you're pushing yourself up and gaining those skills I always talk about going back to the basics which is why I needed to get some figure studies in last episode and by the way part of the trouble I was having with the Yoko Littner some of the poses I was actually relatively happy with and I'm probably maybe going to take them a bit further on the side just to test a few things out. I've found one that I like at the moment so I'm hoping that this weekend we'll have a fan art instead of a tutorial up um, like a different painting technique but I'm going to talk about that in more detail later. Uh, not in this episode like just completely separately because I want to read your comments as the main focus. Um, and with that in mind, Spark 9 says, I've been practicing my drawing skills so I can one day make fantastic art. Excellent. Guys, keep up the practice. I like it. Tojo Misogi says, I always struggle with drawing fingers and toes. Well, Tojo, that's why I've made some tutorials on hands and feet. I hope you find any of them useful. Spoiler alert again, the foot tutorial is a little bit outdated. It could probably do with being a bit better and sagey one art says thank you for tutorial you're welcome sagey one it's a pleasure to make them um atlas fiend says i've been practicing without any improvement atlas fiend practice doesn't make perfect dude perfect practice makes perfect did i talk about this last episode or was i talking about this with someone on twitch i can't remember anyway basically um, if you want to practice, as an example, practice hands, don't sit there yourself and just draw that one kind of hand you think you know and just draw some circles and put some fingers off. Look at hands. Sit there. Don't practice quickly. Practice slowly. Practice correctly. Sit there and either break them down into basic shapes, follow someone's tutorials, not even just mine, anybody's that you like their technique and style, and uh, focus on doing it correctly. Uh, and that is how you get better through practice. Sometimes the practice becomes slower because of it, uh, but it comes it becomes correct. You need to put the correct method into your fingers, not just doing it a lot. That doesn't necessarily actually improve you. Um, so something to bear in mind. And uh, oh, Stud says clapping cheeks. Stud, you've just you've just given me like a Macaulay Culkin. Culkin, yeah. Oh my God, that almost sounds accurate. Macaulay Culkin. That must have been a joke a lot in headlines in the uh, late 90s. And I just feel like that I've come up with this joke myself out of nowhere. Um, anybody, just look at the history of this guy. Anyway, anyway you just give me a flashback of uh, him on a poster from Home Alone. I really like it, stud. Uh, but you haven't actually said anything else. But I like it nonetheless. Elmer's Glue. Oh, Elmer's Glue, how are you doing? Oh, your boy is back, he says. Missed you, Mikey. You too, good sir. My summer has truly begun as I graduated from high school this week. Congratulations, dude. Oh my god, I hope you enjoy some time off and a nice summer. Glad you're back in action and I missed all the DWMs. Thank you very much, dude. I've missed doing them. Uh, whatever's Art says, Hey, Mikey. Hello there, whatever's. Have a sip of tea. Yes, I will. Mm. Now, whatever's Art, you've turned that into a literally a... Um, a request instead of a hashtag but I'm gonna let it go. Uh, nice to see you back again, nice to see you too. And I've been learning uh, and practicing on my anatomy and doing more studies on the body, working on forms and gesture but it's probably gonna take some time on that. I just drew my own take on Rake's or Reiko Sart, Tess 
OC. I wanted to know if you have any OCs that you've had for a while. My current profile is of my OC, Hachimitsu. Yes, I can see a ginger haired girl all up in that circle what makes your avatar. It's very nice. I haven't drawn her in a while, so I figure, hey, I might as well. I find it interesting how an OC can become a substitution for the artist or for people. They uh, can be the face of your career in many ways. Whatever's art, yeah. That is a really good point. And this is like a weird thing that um, I keep thinking about this because a lot of the artists that I really like or I follow, even if it's a self-portrait, it's their illustration. They're showing off their illustrative work. A lot of artists I follow don't even do a self-portrait. They just have a piece from one of their, um, like an image from one of their most favorite pieces, or at least an image from a piece that reads really well um, when it's shrunk down to be an avatar or a thumbnail. And they kind of use that to sell themselves or just push your art forward. So I do like the idea at a glance, you can sort of say, oh, that's an art avatar. That person's probably an artist. But the thing is, you have 100,000 anime avatars. It doesn't mean the people behind them are uh, producing anime. They're just, you know, fans of. I mean, it might be as well, but it, you don't get that knowledge straight away. So I do just kind of, I tend to put my face on most things. And then I've got like a really old purple version of me that I illustrated for something ages ago. Um, but I do kind of think, should I, should I be making all of my avatars across all mediums like Twitch and Instagram the Mikey Mega Mega logo? Should it be a picture that I've drawn that's a bit better? Or should I just leave it as my face because I don't really care? <laughs> like, I don't know what the uh, correct approach is. I don't know if doing one or the other would somehow make more people uh, come see my artwork or be attracted to it. And I don't know if I need to worry about it, basically. But it's a really good point, whatever's art. Um, I am kind of curious about the thinking of people who put artwork, who are producers of artwork, um, put their artwork up as their avatars to kind of represent their brand or them as an identity or an, as an individual and I wonder if that's something you can kind of do when you take that social media purely as being your platform for artwork or um, if it's kind of something you might not do if your social media has been social and then later on in life you've kind of um, changed it to be a bit more about your kind of art production if that's what's happening in your life and made it less of a day to day here's me with my breakfast kind of situation instagram i've got in mind for that one ah, that's a very good point i'll have to mull it over dude sagast oh and by the way sorry i didn't quite uh go all the way yeah i do have some ocs now we um basically came up with them by accident or at least not on purpose uh, two elven girls uh that we did for the christmas um end of 2017 video uh they kind of technically become our ocs because we've drawn those elves again there's victoria um, on a top which is like it's a hard K Victoria Russian spelling um, and then on a top because Goldeneye and then the other one is uh, like the little Tsundere one is Danny um, but it's Danny Elfman because because it's got the word elf in it and I fucking love Danny Elfman um, so it's Danny with a Y or an I whichever one makes it a female sounding name uh, so yeah I do have a couple whatever's arts and they pop up every now and again in the odd thing in fact you know what I mentioned, I might have mentioned last week my Patreon got suspended. It's completely up and running. It was fine, just like I said. Uh, and the reason I was confident about that is because Patreon know how to fucking communicate with you. Uh, they were really, really good compared to YouTube, but I'm not going to go on another rant about that. You guys know what's happening. If you like, if you listen to me enough or you just watch a PewDiePie video, you know that YouTube will kind of go, hi, is that your second YouTube account? Mikey Mega Mega 2 or Mega Mega 2? And it's banned. It's terminated. We've shut it down. They've done that three times this year. Three different times they've shut down my second channel. Every time I have to email them, I think you've shut it down in error. I think it's happened because I've exported a video from Twitch. That tends to be when it really freaks out. And every time, like, it's a few days and I get an email back which simply states, uh, we've reviewed your account and we've decided it's appropriate to reinstate your account. So it comes back, but it comes back with no communication other than the fact that it's back. I'm asking them in my emails, what do you think the problem is? Is it the Twitch exports? What I would like to do is something a bit different, which means it's not going to make the account get banned. Like I'm asking you so that I can stop having an account that gets banned and stop bothering with you, asking you to reinstate it. But they don't tell you anything. They just say it's broken our guidelines. And I'm just like, well, it hasn't broken your guidelines, has it? Because you've come back separately and then got a human being to look at it and seen it has. Anyway. <laughs> oh my God. 
oh, I need to really work on the format of these. Sorry, guys, it's gone ranty time. Anyway, basically, like I said last time, Patreon said we had to suspend your account because a couple of the images were coming up in a general search where they shouldn't. This is the problem. That's the problem. Could you edit that to be a bit more safe? Um, yes, I can. A, B, and C done. What do you think? Thank you very much. We've reinstated your Patreon account. The difference, the difference is fucking phenomenal. It's such a little thing that those elements of communication and the very idea that you would bring me on board with why it's causing a problem for you and where it's causing a problem, you know, as a platform, as Patreon, and what I can do so that it doesn't cause a problem also means I now know, know something that I've learned to avoid in the future so it doesn't become a repeated problem. And now I've got some kind of intrinsic trust that Patreon are able to communicate quite clearly um, with people who work with them um, when a problem comes up. So that problem, Patreon suspending and then um, sorting out my account really briefly, that has actually increased my confidence in Patreon because I know if I get another issue in the future, they actually communicate on the topic compared to YouTube. Ah, you know, I think I apologise for this rant about halfway through and then I continued ranting, but you know what? There we go. It's it's a two-way street. Sometimes you share with me something absolutely delicious and I steal your ideas. God damn right. And sometimes I just, you know, just for verbal diarrhea about a particular topic comes down into your sweet ear rolls. But thank you so much for waiting through. Dude Sagast. Dude Sagast says, I've been subscribed to Jazza and I never learned anything from him. He doesn't teach in a way that I can learn from him. But then watching your channel for like four months, I'm able to draw anime ladies. So yay, Mikey is my sensei. Oh, Dude Sagast, thank you very much. Um, dude, I I think I might understand what you're saying. Recent Jazza videos, and when I say recent, I mean, you know, since his channel is like in the millions and millions of zone, which is very well deserved. Um, what Jazza tends to do now, and I don't watch all of his videos, so maybe you guys have got a clearer idea than I have. But what I notice he does is he pushes himself. He pushes the 3D medium because he's somebody who has uh, the 3D studio to do so. And even that's something that he's worked really hard for, like watch his studio build videos and stuff. And like, you know, you're going to feel the feels. Um, but he's got a setup that allows him to do it. So he's, you know, he's biting in. He's reaching out for new technologies. And he's like, let's do a video where I only do stuff in 3D. Sod it. Let's do a video where I get a remote controlled car and I tie a paint brush system to it and I paint only using an RC and stuff. And like he built it all on Twitch himself and soldered it together. Uh, so yeah, he's doing a lot of art fun experiment stuff now. Maybe still tutorials. However, it was the Jazza of say, the Jazza of 400k subscribers was probably when I first came across his channel. And back then he, he was very much doing drawing tutorials. This is how you draw perspective. This is how you draw characters like this, bigger characters, smaller characters, fairly in-depth things, um, which I think were really good. So I'd say dude sagast, look at Jazza's older content. And that's where I think most of the tutorials lie. And now Jazz is, he's making smarter YouTube videos. Do you know what I mean? They're over 10 minutes long. They've got um, those catchy, consistent thumbnails that make you curious about what you're looking at. And what he's doing in the content keeps you gripped for a fairly long time. Even if he's not necessarily investigating the kind of art that you want, he's doing something a little bit different. You've got to be trying something different. Otherwise, you know, you're all part of the same. So I do get what he's up to. Uh, and I wish him absolute success in it because he's just such a top chap. Shadow203 says, I've been sad, but hey, I'm 18 and I need a job to help my mum. So yeah, I don't draw much. I have no motivation or creativity. Oh, Shadow. And even though I stopped to work since you know, since you know, woohoo, I've been drawing all my life now. I just stopped, so woohoo. Oh, okay, dude. So basically, because I've been asking you guys, like, what have you been up to whilst I've been away from the YouTube? So I have asked you for a bit of catch up, everyone. Um, dude, so you can't draw anymore. It's getting a bit sad, maybe even frustrated because now all of your extra time goes into the job side of things to help out your mum. Yeah, uh, that happens. Any Anyone who's interested in art at some point, uh, they have to like squeeze in the art wherever they can. Maybe they simply don't have the time to do it and has to go on a back burner because art doesn't immediately pay. So you still have to work and live your life and deal with life's troubles. Yeah, dude. Um, everyone's been there or mostly everyone's been there as well so uh sort out your life look after your mum very important um and get in that art whenever you can fit it in maybe like bring a tiny sketchbook with you where you work and when you get those tiny quiet moments or on a lunch break if you get one or something like that get a tiny bit of doodling in over a coffee that's what i recommend even if it's just a, on a tiny little bit of paper that you keep in a top pocket 
it will make all the difference. Shadow 203, have a bloody good time with it. Like, you know, get used to work, and I hope, you know, you come out a bit happier on the other side. Uh, the Cool Kid says 50th. Thank you very much, The Cool Kid. Oh, and that also reminds me, I should probably stop ranting, stop going on side quests, and focus on your comments and read as many of them as I can. Horizon Williams says, yay, another DWM. I've been doing awesome. Excellent, dude, Horizon. Thanks for asking. No worries. Quick question. Could you possibly do a tutorial on how to colour your art with coloured pencils? <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a Prismacolor Premier Very Thin Pencils. Oh my god, you know more about pencils than I do, dude. Or how to draw intimidating or tough and mysterious characters. I like those types, but I have some trouble with the eyes, preferably for the females. So far this summer, I've been trying to draw, but lately I haven't had the motivation I'm trying to draw while watching this because I'm inspired by a show I was watching. Wish me luck. Horizon Williams, such you've written such an essay, dude. Uh, and you haven't even posted on Instagram because you're afraid your art will look bad. Sorry for ranting, I'm trying so hard. No way, Horizon Win Williams. We all rant sometimes. I've just been doing it right now, so I can't be angry. Uh, dude, um, afraid your art will look bad. Uh, I'm going to give you the cruel answer. Um, yeah, your art probably looks bad. You know what? Most of my art looks bad as well. Most of nobody's. Don't worry about it. Post it. You're either going to post your artwork and you're going to work on your artwork and do more or you're going to worry about your artwork and not post it and then no one's even going to know that you're drawing. I know it's, you're just like, oh, but this isn't my best thing. You've got to be robust. It's never easy. It's always easier said than done. Maybe that's a better way to put it. But dude, <clears throat> get your art out there. Even if people say this looks weird, that looks weird and you get really upset about it, keep doing it and then you're going to get like, it's going to feel a bit more normal and a bit less weird. Devin Giles says, speed paint Wendy Marvel from Fairy Tale, please. She is already on my to-do list of suggestions, Stephen Giles, so no worry, eventually. It's Yoko Littner Week, uh, which might turn into Yoko Littner Fortnite if I don't get a pose that I'm properly happy with. Um, but we're doing some Yoko at the moment. Uh, oh, I watched the first couple episodes of the anime. Yes, it does look really mental. I will continue watching it. Thank you very much, guys. Chief Hydra says, man, sorry I'm late. No worries, Chief. But I hope you check Jason Guyan... Gouves and I've said that wrong and Greg Woodkowski they are awesome artists ah oh, Chief Hydra that's great I was last week in last week's episode previously on DWM hi guys I want to steal all of your ideas for excellent artists in the non-anime field and then I did exactly that uh, so I will just add yours because I've still got the list up my notepad file I mean I've not had it you know sitting up all week but I've got it on my desktop Thank you very much, good sir. Stereo's text says, draw Esdef from Akame Ga Kill. She is also on the list, don't you worry. And sketches are the best things, says Seven Hits. Well, I hope you enjoy these digital sketches of me failing in very many different ways at Yoko Listener. Uh, Necrobina says, hi Mikey, hello Necrobina. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, much better these days, thank you. Uh, I would really like to know what type of music are you into? Oh, Necrobina. Um... Uh, how to put it? I'm not up to date with any modern pop songs. Every now and then there's like a sub clumber. Oh, Jesus, what did I just say? A sub clumber. Hmm, that's, that's a good genre of music right there. Every now and then there's a club summer classic that will hit off, like, and it'll be the main song you hear when you go to like Ibiza and stuff. Uh, so I tend to get into those tracks. Um, but recently I just haven't turned my ear to it. So, um, when I do a lot of streaming, I really like listening to lo-fi hip-hop radio, but I wouldn't say that's music to really engage you, just stuff to have in the background. Um, so I'm still listening to like all my old favourites from my iTunes collection, The Eels, Radiohead, Foo Fighters, many, many, many more, loads of film OSTs, most of Nobuo Uematsu's entire Fun Fantasy collection, like good stuff to weeb stuff, all over the boat. Um, if it's good... I'll probably enjoy it from almost any genre. Like, I like classical as much as I like EDM. Um, so, actually, I probably prefer EDM just because I listen to more of it, but I'm as open to classical, if that makes sense, because I do absolutely love some of those classical leg tracks. Um, what about you, basically? What's your music thing? Basically, it's my way of saying right now, because um, I don't know if you guys get this, where you go through a phase where you don't really investigate any new artists for a while and then every now and then you'll just have like a power couple weeks where you just come across a new artist you start buying a few of their albums or like listening to them streaming and then you just really really get into them and then they kind of become part of your overall collection and then you kind of tell yourself wow i need to discover more artists all the time this is great i didn't realize this music was out there but then you don't then you go on for three months and then you know 
you go into another little kind of moment where you're just like, oh my god, I've never heard of this. What is this? This is going to um, change my listening preferences for ages. Uh, in my old office, I sat next to somebody uh, who was really into loads of like alternative experimental, um, like 80s, 90s Japanese jazz and stuff like that. He's much more eclectic than that. Um, but he had all these suggestions that I had to keep emailing home. And I've got this massive list of really weird eclectic sounding stuff to work through. Um, many thanks to him for that. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll have like different opinions uh, on music in the future. Who knows? But basically, yeah, I like loads of stuff. All the big names, um, the more poppy and mainstream it is. And oh, <clears throat> I feel like dirty saying mainstream because I feel like somebody who's trying to sound like they're not mainstream. I get sucked into all the basic stuff as well. Um, but really, general chart-topping pop songs, I tend not to really keep pace with. I tend to discover a band, get into their kind of history of their stuff, um, but not really discover a modern band that doesn't have a back catalogue, if that makes sense. Uh, sketches are the best things. I'm just going back to seven hits, uh, just to reiterate. Uh, but thank you very much, Necrobiner. And Loopy Drugs is like 105th. Thank you very much, Loopy Drugs. Uh, Rebecca Israel says, Hi, Mikey. Amazing art. Hey, Rebecca. Thank you very much. It's very kind. And Zulf Burt says, Jeff Smith is the author of Bones. Zulf Burnt. I am copy-pasting your suggestion. So I'm assuming, again, that's some good artist suggestion. Thank you very very much and again guys don't forget to share with me your favorable, vig favorable visual moments in anime oh just, just sip this coffee a moment oh uh let my brain catch up with my mouth just a little bit uh, favorable <laughs> oh my god i did it again favorite visual moments in anime i need to think of a better phrase for that Another one that's just come to mind for me is a couple of the still images of Alucard from Helsing Ultimate. Um, so yeah, what comes to mind for you? Hex Ted Kid says, always fun to hear this every week. It keeps my head calm and gets my work done. Fantastic. That's part of the point of it. Although I'm easily distracted, so my artworks are always 70% through done. It's always cool to listening. Uh, it's always cool to listen and watch the art you're doing, and I can't wait for the next DWM topic. Hexatech Kid. That's really fucking kind. I'm really glad you find this useful for some rambling in the background, even when I can't um, pronunciate or execute my grammar correctly. Raz Cat says, yes, another tutorial. Uh, Raz, I guess it was a little bit tutorial-esque um, in the last EWM because we were looking at figure studies and just working our way through a bit of study time. And at the moment, again, on the visual side now, it's me failing from all their studies. Laszlo Sademi says, In the meanwhile, I was experimenting with gesture drawing, which led me to deviate more and more from my references created in Design Doll. I also streamlined some aspects of my drawing process, speeding up some of the work, especially when I lay down the base sketches, which might result in me outputting more stuff. Some of which might be more erotic in nature, however, some of my cursed fetishes might interact with the finished product. Laszlo! Uh, no shaming here, but um, if uh, a lot of your fetish stuff uh, and over-sexualized stuff seeps into your artwork, just make sure you know what your target audience is. You have um, also written a second fucking paragraph, so I'm going to have a quick skim through. Um, let's have a quick look. Bang Dream Girls Band Party is a game that you're currently playing a lot on your new telephone. Well done. Uh, however, I'm currently preoccupied with a lot of stuff, mostly art and game development related things. Very, very cool. Oh, and you're in the uh, field, are you? I'll have to keep in touch if I ever need to hit you up on Twitter. Thank you very much for the offer. Uh, you're shapeshifting lizard. Excellent. Uh, as many failed guitarists, I might end up as a bassist instead. <laughs> we used to... um. I used to be in like, you know when you're just kids, you and your mates get together and form a band. We used to do a covers band of like um, uh, early 2000s punk rock stuff, so like Green Day and all that sort of stuff. Which is the band where you're not allowed to like them because it turned out one of them was like a horrific, horrific pedophile. Um, I want to say like, it's not 21 Pilots, it's definitely not Rage Against the Machine, but it was one of those ones. I think they did like Enter Shikari. Come on! Except, because I almost enjoyed that song, we're not allowed to enjoy any of their work anymore, because, you know, horrific monster of a person. Um, but basically, all that kind of stuff. And, oh man, we used to give so much shit to our bassist. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> our bass guitarist, he's one of my oldest friends, uh, and he is a hell of an individual. Um, but, oh, shit, did we give him a hard time for being a bass player? Good times. You've just reminded me of my own childhood. Uh, it's great. Anyway, come on, back to the comments, guys. Natsu Dragneel says, Yo, Mikey, how have you been this summer? Not too bad, Natsu. Busy. I've already complained about it. I'm not going to complain about it anymore. Um, I'm busy about stuff, but otherwise, you know, it's good, man. I'm doing great, says you. Uh, I came back to my country, Sri Lanka, for a vacation, and I went on a few trips, and I've still got more to go. I can't wait for more of your tutorials. Natsu Dragneel. Oh, dude, I hope you have a lovely time back home. If I ever go travelling, I'll have to hit you up for some places to visit and some travelling suggestions, good sir, because here Sri Lanka's got some beautiful places. Uh, excellent. Have a good time with it. And Jotaro Kujo says, My favourite is dives with two eyes. And again, that sounds like a suggestion of an artist, which I've stolen. Chloe Earth says, Hello, hey Chloe. It seems like ages ago since I commented on one of your videos. The last time was when we all had that bloody snow in spring. Oh, Jesus. Now it's so hot in Britain, I'm basically melting. Mate, you and me both. That's the other reason I have to record these first thing in the morning, because in the middle of the day, like... I might be unconscious. It is fucking hot. I don't know if you like people's suggestions on video ideas. Yeah, I love your suggestions. But maybe you could look at some of your subscribers' art and give feedback. I think a lot of us would love it, but I don't know. You obviously don't have to. Also, your tutorials and videos have helped me so much, and my parents are now letting me draw on my bedroom wall because of my art improvement. Oh, dude, you're doing your own mural or something? Incredible. Um, or are you just, like, sitting there with cans of spray paint and your parents are, you know, deeply regretting it? Um, keep making these videos as they are brilliant and really entertaining. No, they are not. But thank you for saying such kind things. And P.S. My username is pronounced Chloe Earth. Oh, was I going quite hard on Chloe? Oh, I'm burping. PPS, I've decided to make an art channel which you've inspired me a lot and made me use my, get more confident in my art. You're more confident, you're producing. Excellent, Chloe Earth. Excellent to hear. Good luck with ruining, um, you know, the inside of your house. I wish you all the best. Uh, that is great. I'm really, really pleased to hear that. I'm just going to sip this coffee a bit. Mm. Oh, I feel so good. Mr. Ken Jammin Powers says, uh, I got improved, but I can't do folds and outfits. Can't draw my OC, but I'm still improving. Keep at it then, good sir. And you'll get there. And Hyper Iconic, or Hyper Ironic says, I see vid mates. I have not watched a vid in weeks. Yeet! <laughs> it's goo. Oh my God. Hyper ironic. You you're very up to date with your internet yas kind of talking. That is disgusting. Thank you. Devin Giles says, Hi Mikey, hello Devin. If you have a chance, please do a speed paint on Black Cat from Spider-Man, Catwoman, and Harley Quinn from Black Man. <laughs> My god. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even gonna correct myself. Harley Quinn from Black Man, um, which is Oh, wait, you know what, that sound, it might be a Pornhub um, kind of not an official version of a film already out there. Anyway, I'm not, yeah, you know, sod it, move on. <laughs> Wii U, thank you for the suggestions, by the way. Yeah, I, I know exactly what characters you're talking about. They are great. Uh, Wii U Pokemon says, I've been practicing on my drawings and I've been exercising. Good, that's a good way to spend your time in the summer whilst I've been away. Big Pink Studio says, Matt Frank is another insanely good artist, especially when it comes to his work uh, in the Godzilla books. Ah. <gasps> Big Pink Studios, Matt Frank, also stolen your idea. Thank you very much. And Altered Ego says, hey, thanks for reading my comment. No worries, dude. It's kind of what I do here. Um, I know that you're playing The Witcher on Twitch. Oh, I love a game. There's a game on stream called Inked from Croatia. It's full of hand-drawn and colour with pencils. So if you want to give it a try, I love drawings in this video. Hashtag sip of tea. Hashtag have a good time and a good week. Same back at you, Altered Ego. Inked. Ooh. Yeah, we're always looking for good games to stream, although I have to play Arkham Asylum, um, which has been strongly and repeatedly uh, shouted at me from by somebody for quite a while. Joel says, I'm so glad you're getting stuff done, man. Great to hear from you again. Oh, right back at you, Joel. How are you getting on, dude? This summer, I got rehired for an extra term, another nine months. Congratulations. At a place I love working. Excellent, dude. So my project's budget went way up. I've been fighting an infected wound on my leg for over a month now. Oh, mate, that fucking sucks. Uh, never been more glad to be Canadian. Do you, as a Canadian, get uh, free healthcare then? Like, we... Well, I say free, um, but have a healthcare system like we do in the UK. Because in the UK, part of our taxes go to healthcare so that we don't have to, like, freak out about insurance. Which, weirdly, makes it a little bit easier to kind of be self-employed, I think, over here and just go off and do your own thing. Anywho, uh, you should be clear in two more weeks or so. Good, dude. Look after yourself. 
don't take shit like that lightly. Um, I remember my my mate's leg got infected after football, and like he fought just a really nice bar for help, like relax the situation, and then it was all like purple and big. <laughs> I don't think he had a very good time of it. He was on them antibiotics for a while. Um, other than that, I've got one of my characters drawn, but I won't be going forward with the artist because it's a timing issue and I've got problems with him as an artist or as a person. Oh, shit. Um, oh, I've got no problems with him as an artist or a person. Okay, even better. Brilliant. Because <laughs> I was going to say, like, you might just not want to work with him unless you definitely need the money. Uh, but this may be old news. I forget. No worries, dude. Do your thing. You've got a link to some of your art. I'm going to have a really quick look because you are such a regular on here. Holy shit, this character is great. Oh, dude. It's like... This isn't the best way to put it, but imagine you had Dragon Ball, uh, but Dragon Ball Z characters were set in, like the times of like Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Slayer and stuff like that kind of the vibe I'm getting but also it's a little bit like he's armoured like one of the um, girls from Monster Hunter World all at the same time oh, I like it that's me trying to describe it you can always go into last week's video find Joel's comment and have a click of the link yourselves Killer Tacos the evolutionary gamer says awesome stuff thank you very much Killer hope you're doing well dude I wish I could draw female anatomy as consistently as you I was looking at reference images, don't forget, I was looking at pictures of just women in poses, which is, you know, something I do as a man on the internet, <laughs> probably more than I should, um, but I was finding it very useful to just kind of get a bit more of a human proportion back in, because um, right now, like I keep saying about Yoko stuff, we're going back to anime town, and it's hits and roundabouts, ups and downs. Um, However, I've been practicing every day and I've seen an immeasurable improvement. Oh, Killer Tacos, keep drawing. I love watching your videos a lot and I'm sure I'll get there someday. Oh, dude, we're all on the journey together, don't you worry. The Asylum Child says, hey, Mikey, hey, Asylum. Good to see you drawing and stuff. Thank you very much. It's good to be back. You are a great inspiration. Uh, not to pat myself on the back, but you should check out my art channel. People say we have a similar style, but I don't know. Asylum Child. Well, let's click into a new tab. You've got exactly a hundred subscribers! Dude! Wow! Congratulations on your first 100! That's like... I know that sounds silly because I've got to nearly 300k? Oh my god, we're nearly there. Um, but don't think for a moment that I do not remember how hard it was to get those first 100. Congratulations! Oh, and you've got me in your favourite channels list! <laughs> I love child, you're so kind. Okay, look, click, 101. Um, guys, if you're also YouTubing and have channels on here, I do not, uh, this is like a pre-warning for next episode, I do not have the time to click everybody's links and go through the things, so please don't be suddenly disappointed if I don't go on these sidetracks. But dude, congrats on 100. It's such a nice round figure, I can't not subscribe and knock it into being your 101st sub. Um, Oh, something in Cyrillic, which I don't understand, from Brt12net, I want to say. Um, Thank you very much for commenting. Hey, uh, I'm so sorry I didn't, you didn't put that through Google Translate for me. And Melody11 says, I see you in Korea. Like, like right now, you're in Korea, but you've got really powerful telescopic binocular sight and you can see me? Or are you just watching the video whilst you're in Korea and Google Translate has let you down? In either instance, hi, welcome, and Yong. How you doing? It's a pleasure. Meldy11, have a good one. Joseph McLean says, struggling on those basics. I am or you, but, but if it's both of us, then yeah, we'll get there together, don't you worry. And God of Death says, Mikey, your art is fabulous. Thank you, God of Death. I never knew you cared. I'm very happy today because Overlord Season 3 release date has been announced. Oh, Overlord is also on one of those big lists of things where you guys are like, draw albedo, watch Overlord. This is another of your suggestions which I've yet to get to. But I'm going to be on my way after we come out of Tengen, Toppen, Gurren, Lagen. Have I said that correctly? Um, Amber Schaefer. Richard Dreyfus. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Amber Schaefer. Your surname, uh, Schaefer. I don't know what it reminded me of, but the second I said the word Schaefer, I just had this image of Richard Dreyfus in my head. <laughs> I don't know. Something just happened in my brain, basically, and some noise came out my mouth. I'm really sorry. It's got nothing to do with you. A little late, but um, Fwewool, or Old School Underground Comic Icons, are Crumb, Spain, Sheridan, and Shire, Mother of Oats. Oh, wow. F-W-I-W -W is Old School Underground. Ooh, I'm going to Control-C that. 
and add that to the list. I don't massively understand that, but if I Google it later, I'm sure it will come to me. Thank you, Amber. And Inkstain says, Juicy Ink is my only patron. It would be awesome to do some of your templates, not only about contest stuff, but community and participation. I appreciate the figure stories. Inkstain, and in fact, somebody who um, only kind of answered half of their comment a bit earlier about uh, it would be awesome if I did feedback of other people's work and stuff. Um, I'm probably not going to do that publicly. Like on Facebook, I might upload your art, but I don't really give feedback on there. And I probably won't do it um, in a general YouTube sense just because uh, that takes a lot of time. Uh, and when you kind of offer to do that, you get, because I've seen other people do this, you tend to get more entries than you think. Um, and you're just not going to produce uh, in time. However, I will be probably making it like a, a Patreon reward. Um, I might well turn it into a YouTube video if somebody's okay with that, for having, you know, their work possibly torn apart a little bit, but only constructively, so that, um, you know, everybody can see what I'm doing and talking about and why, so you can all learn from it. But in terms of actually taking someone's art and doing a little bit of a paint over or a little bit of a talk around it, uh, I'd probably have to make that a Patreon reward, just because I'll have very little time to do it. It's quite time consuming, so I do need to kind of prioritise that to people who help me really directly. But you guys, don't think for a moment that you're not helping me just by letting these videos play in the background, giving it a click. That is all part of it as well. It really, I'm just so pleased for. Um, so, yeah, I like what you're talking about. Not a contest, but just a community thing where we kind of get involved in that process. I like it. Um, I just need to work out how I'm going to be able to do that in a way that I'll be able to keep it up, if that makes sense. Zaz Fan says, where did you learn drawing? Oh, that's a sip of tea question. That's a really old one. Um... In a very general sense, I took art at school uh, many, many, many years ago, completely stopped, got into the office lifestyle. Over the last four years, I've gotten back into drawing and tried to do it more online with you guys through YouTube, and that's kind of where we've gone. So recently, uh, a couple of books, you can probably find links to it somewhere, Michael Wait, Michael Hampton's Figure Drawing Design Invention. I've actually got some more books recently, but I haven't even opened them yet, so I won't go on about them until I've got an opinion, um, but actually learning online and really just looking at people whose work I want to kind of emulate or I want my standards to reach. I look at their work, I don't even necessarily watch their tutorials but I try to work out how I can emulate their style on Photoshop. So recently it's mostly just self-learning. Uh, Keshav Colonel, how are you doing Keshav? I'm drawing Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman and colouring her with polychromos. Ah oh, Keshav, your polychromo mention has also reminded me of another comment I didn't completely answer talking about Prismacolors. Um, I don't have that much experience with real life colouring in pencils, believe it or not. Not since I was a kid and I caught my mate, like literally, let's talk about this really, really quickly. Um, it's not my mate's fault because he didn't know any better. But once when I had my mate over around my house, I had like a big Calvin and Hobbes volume out. I think it was one of like um, those big summer books, the one where, um, is it Treasure Treasure? No, that's not it. It's the one where um, it's Calvin and Hobbes and they're sitting in the... Uh, Oh fuck, the red truck thing that they've got, you know, the cart, the go-kart, the red thing. And they're just, you know, they're zipping off somewhere and there's like a big summertime tree in the background and stuff. And, um, wait, is that the one or is it Hobbs lying really? No, it's Hobbs and he's sleeping on a long branch of a tree. And then, <laughs> sorry guys, you can't see me. But like, I'm reaching up towards the ceiling and I'm looking at nothing whilst I'm trying to rematerialize the different Calvin and Hobbes books in my head. Because it has been like, um, you know, 20 years since I've been reading them. Homicidal Psycho, Homicidal Psycho Jungle Cat um, was the volume after the one that I'm trying to talk about. Anyway, what am I talking about? Anyway, <laughs> I had some Calvin and Hobbes and I left my mate in my room and had some coloring pencils. And I swear I went down to like, go to the toilet or get some tea when I came back into my room he was colouring in the panels in my Calvin and Hobbes book um, and you know if you didn't know any better and you saw some a tin of colouring pencils near a Calvin and Hobbes book I would definitely put two to two and two together and think it was some kind of colouring in book because he assumed the point of Calvin and Hobbes was both to read it and colour it in as well which by the way if you don't mind like ruining a book that's actually a fucking great way to spend some time you could watercolour ink your own Calvin and Hobbes panels, you might really enjoy it. But when I saw that as a kid, I was aghast. I had no fucking idea why he was doing that. Like, it, it broke me up. Uh, why do I care? Anyway, that's right. So anyway, I don't have much experience of colouring pencils ever since then. So I'm really not the guy to ask. But again, I want to investigate in that futures. Because when you see 
um, these YouTube channels on here where they only work with like pencils and they just make these photorealistic beautiful pieces of popular characters it is really really something those pencils look like they've got so much saturation and color induced to put on a page that's not how I remember pencils working myself so yeah definitely something to take a look at Francis Bacon is my go-to for non-anime art Copa Malfas I think Francis Bacon is a guy that I couldn't remember uh, last week when I was trying to talk about those supplications at the foot of Christ stuff I think it is Bacon I'm just gonna go on to another tab bear with another thing you can't see right now um, images yes 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 free studies for figures at the base of a crucifixion that's what I was talking about dude thank you so much because I never got round to remembering what that was oh shit where's my tab another thing you can't see is I'm now doing that thing where you sit down and you just you bounce a little bit and you swing your legs like your, your kneecaps keep kind of bouncing close together far apart you know when you really 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 need an, a wee so you kind of just bounce in your chair or like pulse a bit to hopefully convince your body that you're walking or something and now's not appropriate time for weeing anyway let's go back down oh I need to scroll a bit back down I managed to get to the top of the comments I'm really sorry guys bear with bear with quick more more and got it thank you very much Copa uh, Carolina Jimenez Manga Banga says well my summer has been good uh, my drawings are great and I'm going to Florida for a week dude how was the Florida holiday? You might be on it right now. Let us know when you come back. And Panda Star says, I want to say that uh, I'm one of the three favorite artists and Sinner is another one and Wubake is the third. Sinner and Wubake. I will add to the list and look them up. Thank you very much. Mimo 8 June just says 8 or 8 smiley face. Thank you very much. And Paint Everything says, Sup Mikey. Hello Paint. Well, I just want to try and make my art pieces more pleasing to look at because most of them look boring and dull. And I don't know what I should fix. Is it the posture of the character, the shading? I don't know, man. Any tips? Hope you're all fine, brother. Brother! And I'll see you later. Paint Everything. Um... Well, you've not put up like an example of your artwork for me to take a look at, uh, so I really can't get into details. <laughs> it's a bit of a two-way street like that. Um, but I hope you kind of get an eye for what you don't like about it. Maybe like you know the artists that you do like. What are they doing different to what your your current artwork is? And try to kind of you know get something in between. But 69, great name by the way. No matter how many times I draw my own character, I always end up drawing someone. How can I fix this? But 69. Um, keep drawing more without reference maybe only work about the building blocks and then put um, characters on top from your head um, or maybe just expose yourself to other anime that doesn't have the different characters you always realize you're probably copying Yori Bremner says I drink tea and I know things and I'm all out of ideas I just want to... <laughs> this, is, this is great by the way uh, God, what was this from oh what was oh fuck this isn't me this is where you're quoting somebody and it's gonna really bug me because I swear that's a quote from Twitch from somebody we've probably watched anyway I just want to tell you that the last few days weren't great a bit sad oh dude a partner and I are working on a game and he just quit and stopped to hire I'll oh, stop from hiring in my office my English isn't that great don't worry uh, from one day to another so I'm a bit pissed because I like the place and the people who worked at that place I don't know what I'm doing next Yuri Bremner it sounds like not only did the guy that you were working with on a project quit, it sounds like that project's being stopped meant you got let go from your office or something like that, which fucking sucks, dude. Does happen, uh, and you do still live. I know, it, I know it genuinely doesn't help you to hear me say that. Like, don't worry, I'm not like head in the cloud sort of stuff. But it does happen, and you do survive, and you end up doing something else. So use this as an opportunity what do you like to do man like what kind of art styles or what sort of projects do you like to engage with maybe there's going to be some other place that um would actually work on that be a better fit for you make sure whatever you are doing you've got your portfolio sorted if you're trying to get some work get a strong art station portfolio that would be my random suggestion fill it full of only your best pieces none of your experiments or working projects and make sure it's only full of the kind of work that you want to actually be doing as a job Anyway, uh, your last episode was in a time when dinosaurs roamed, so welcome back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fair, Yori, I'm going to let that go. Um, the la what, what's that dinosaur series where they had like a million episodes? Like, The Land Beyond the Valley, 15, Land Before Time, Land Before Time. Uh, Miles Tooney says, what was the name? Miles Tooney, this isn't your what you've said, but guys, what was the name of a dinosaur show? And they were dinosaurs, but they were puppets, 
and I think they lived in like a, a log cabin or they worked in the woods and there's a baby dinosaur that doesn't look like anything it's just this big pink monster that just eats loads of stuff and they're all triceratops and it, it's like Roseanne but they're dinosaurs does this ring any bells it's like really old it's live action uh, no, maybe it doesn't ring any bells. Maybe I'm having a fever dream. Um, anyway, Miles Tooley does say, Mikey, you should draw some Boku no Hero characters. Yes, I should. Thank you, dude. And Wilhelm says, I've never watched anime unless you count hentai. I love that shit. Wilhelm, whatever helps you get your socks off. Uh, Mixie TX says, wowie, this is amazing. Thank you very much, Mixies. And Tom says, hey, Mikey, what are the brushes that you usually use? Tom. I think that might be a cover T word as well. Um... I'm pretty sure I'm saying this all the time. I usually use a soft brush, uh, 0 0.37, uh, with zero hardness, or I use a hard brush, 0 0.37, uh, with uh, the pressure sensitivity on for the brush size, but maximum hardness. However, in the spirit of investigating and trying new things, I have, for the first time <laughs> in a long time, tried to work solely with a textured brush I got from an art pack from Dave Greco Art, um, which he'll let you download for free. Just follow him on Twitch, or maybe there's even a link in his YouTube channel, Dave Greco I think that's all it is. Have a look. Anyway, I found a textured brush in there and I was giving that a bloody good go, which is why you're kind of noticing again it affecting a slight difference on the style and things. Anyway, guys, we're entering. Oh, sorry, I'm getting really burpy with the tea. I know these episodes are sometimes really disgusting. It is just me waking up. Um, we're going to go a little bit speedy on our comments because, again, I'm not quite halfway through. Everybody whose comments what I end up missing this episode, I am awfully sorry, but do not hesitate to copy and paste it into next week. So I'll always try to mix up the order that your comments are displayed and the way that I read them, like top first or bottom first, so that I get as many of you guys as randomly as I can. Um, so yeah, go ahead and maybe I'll catch it and give it a read for the next episode as well. Rossman Ultra says he has returned. Indeed, I have Rossman. So good to hear you cracking on with your living situation. Best wishes to you, sir. Thank you so much. How's my summer thanks to your art tutorials? Well, I've taken a jump and started a tattoo apprenticeship. Whoa, dude. It's kind of off the wall, but it's a completely different challenge and you have to really depend on your art skills to make a living. Anyway, still hoping to grow a crowd online of digital art. Just a fallback in case anyways. Good day, sir. Rossman Ultra, that's fucking incredible, dude. I wish you all the best for that. Axio Watt says, yo, hey Mikey, hey Axio. Uh, in this summer I'm hoping to tackle some perspective drawing studies. I have this awesome book for it called Vanishing Point by Jason Cheeseman Mayer. I neglected to fully dive into it until now. I remember you used something, um, you used to do some architectural drawings. Any tips? Um, one, I'm going to steal your idea for that book, Axio. Architectural drawings and tips for that. You know what? <sighs> Nothing to dive into right now. Like, you're already, oh fuck. I haven't copied that correctly, so it's not letting me paste. Bear with me. Let's try that again. Better. Um, you know what? No, if you've just watched a... Watch, if you've just read an excellent book on perspective, I've got nothing to put on top of that, I dare say. Um, but go around and draw real buildings. Don't just draw them from uh, pictures that you see online, because it does something different with your brain. When you get a flat image, you can just copy it. When you go and look at a real building, you have to start picking what details you do or don't decide to see in that building, what you do and don't bring to the page. And also, if you're anything like me, uh, you quite enjoy looking at really good architecture and sketching it. That's the other thing I do still like to do in my spare time. Um, guys, I'm going to just put the pace on. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm hardcoring it for you guys. Right now, I massively need a wee, but I'm not going to stop. This is unedited full on hashtag hardcore mode if you're listening this far in you are the hashtag hardcore crew but i am on absolute hardcore mode right now i need to wee so bad i can barely think ross says mikey why is your patreon under review ross well it was because oh yeah and this is where it all leads back to because an earlier question was about do i have those oc characters and i talked about the oc elves and the offending image that caused patreon to temporarily suspend don't worry it's all back up now uh, was the oc elves it was they were like it was safe like I, I think I said last week it was a safe image um, underneath the logo they were probably naked it was implied nudity even though you couldn't see anything so yeah not a problem 
Uh, that was what happened. Rodwell Zamora says, Hi boss Mikey Mega, can you make a tutorial for high and low angle view? Rodwell Zamora, I can, but the thing is, I already have. Have a look at my tutorials playlist. Good sir, and hopefully you'll find what you need there. And Ross says, oh wait, and back on track maybe says, back on track maybe, that is literally my life, your username, I love it. My favourite non-anime artist is Proko. Proko is excellent. Boiled Cabbage says, finally, Mikey is back. Thank you so much, Boiled. Sorry, I've got to just hit everything at 100 miles an hour now. And Coffee Cat J says, hi, Mikey. Hello, Coffee Cat J. So good to watch you draw again. Thank you. Good advice, too. How to practice about difficult things. Looking forward to more content again. Hashtag Hardcore Crew. Coffee Cat J, thanks for bearing with the down period. It's a pleasure having you back as well. Akira Ishin says, mom, papa, Mikey came back from buying cigarettes. <laughs> Glad to hear that things are going well for you, brother. Brother! I'm almost done with my script and my family is planning on moving to New Hampshire. That's been my summer so far. Akira Ishin, I wish you and your family all the best for that move. That sounds really cool. Art Time Double X says, Mikey, uh, wouldn't a sexy grown-up version of um, Shrike from Berserk be awesome? If so, please give it a shot. Shri oh, God, yeah! Ooh, ooh. Yeah, and if we make it grown up, so you know we're not depicting children, that's the safe dream. I've also stolen your suggestion. Thank you very much, Art Time X. How are we doing for time? I'm gonna squeeze in a couple more. Uh, my Manara says, "Hey, am Mikey? Hey, am I? How are you? Not too bad, thank you." In this summer, I try to study a bit for anatomy and proportion. Also, I try to make my coloration a bit better. I'm really not happy with that, especially with the coloration for long hair. Ah, oh, my Minara, yeah. Have dive into some tutorials. You can get away with putting so many different colours in hair tones these days, depending on how artistic, air quotes, your art approach is. Um, there's a lot to investigate there. Rendering hair is quite fun, I think, if you've already worked out how it works and you're just putting in the time. Um, but yeah, excellent. I wish you all the best. I'm glad you're getting some basics and proportions sorted out as well. But as the main thing, guys, if you like drawing your anime characters, work out anatomy and proportions. I'm not saying just watch my tutorials, I'm saying watch everybody's. Read books, look at real life especially, it's going to help you no end. Stop hiding your hands everyone, I see it more and more on your Facebook submissions. And I love you guys for sending me your artwork by the way, don't think I don't. Um, but I'm when I'm typing back to you guys, I'm just like, hands, do the hands. Uh, Brandon Trindad or Trinidade says, hi, hello to you good sir. And oh my god, I'm just going to scroll down and we're going to grab someone at random just as the last comment and then we're going to have to do a little bit of wrap up because we're coming dangerously near our one hour mark. In fact, I'm going to scroll right down the other end of the comments. Oh my goodness, I've missed loads of your comments. I'm really, I'm really sorry. Let's have a quick look. Noah Lenora Art says, Laugh my ass off. Octoboob is probably my favourite username. Oh yeah, Octoboobs is um, just a viewer, but also somebody, uh, I think I follow them on Insta? Anyway, somebody who's followed social media I follow because they have some very colourful haircuts and did some art. There's a few people, literally like absolute randoms of you on here. When I first got my Instagram account set up, that up would have followed me. But you guys also do artwork or illustration, and it might not be your main thing, but like I followed you back at some point, and it was, you know, it's just normal, you just follow people's stuff and have a look at their feeds. Um, but then like, I don't really do that anymore, because now my Instagram has grown into being a bit more of like, you know, official Mikey Mega Mega, so I don't post Instagram pictures of me on holiday very much. It's mostly about the artwork. And sadly now I have to be a bit more selective about my followers back. So there are just some lovely randoms, and it's lovely seeing what you guys are up to but I do like randomly follow just random people on my Instagram just as much as I follow other artists uh, it's throwbacks from the old days but yeah Octoboobs is one of them um, and wait you've gone on to say oh right here we go uh, Noah Lenora continues to say oh my god Mark Crilly and Jazza those are so accurate now that you mention it she, oh yeah because I called Mark Crilly like Oh, here you go. Mark Crilly is a granddad and Jazza is a peppy second son. Yeah, Mark Crilly, granddad of YouTube, Jazza, peppy second son of YouTube. Uh, and of course, there's this huge extended family of other YouTube artists. We'll do a family tree of creatives on YouTube and see what it looks like one day. Guys, thank you so much. I just want to stop and say, of course, YouTube is where I do most of my stuff. 
The only reason I do it is because of your support on Patreon. Let me just go ahead and give a shout out to Tom Kirby Green, Bloody Love You, Mad Duck, The Traveling Wolf, Welcome In, Joe Reddish, Garrett C, Rider2KX, often a hardcore rider. It's always a pleasure exchanging emails with you. Michael S, Trent H, Gabriel C, Raymond G, Jorgen A, such hardcores. I'm always reading their names every week. Thank you so much, guys. Wes B, Connor M, Julio Felix O, Rob, Kamari J, John Hall V, Grizzly, Matthew G, Simon B, Gareth, Taylor S, all of you guys again are my patrons on Patreon at the slightly higher tier. I really fucking appreciate all of your support. Keep your eyes on Patreon for some slightly new format coming up shortly. Um, did we stop at Taylor S, Homongchi L, Thomas C, Angry Hermit, Johnny Young, Ollie. Ollie, it's good to see you again, by the way. I've noticed you're back on the scene. I hope you've been having a really good summer, dude. Garrett, Christian L, Minion715, ICZ, Wendell S, Zahaki, Fatness, Rombly, Kurt D, Zoe T, and LMA Gamer. Thank you so much, guys, as ever. Um, thank you guys for uh, listening to the end of this episode. It makes you the hashtag hardcore crew. And of course, with any luck, we'll have some better, more successful Yoko at the end of the week and a giveaway. I'll see you guys then. Don't forget, guys, give me those excellent suggestions about those visual moments in anime. Take care. Mm-hmm.